Hi everyone, Sarah Louise Smith here. Thank you so much for watching today. I'm sorry that it's been so long since I made a video, um, but I am back. Um, these videos are gonna be more regular thing again. So if you're interested in learning about how I'm trying to make my life more extraordinary, more fun, more productive, achieve goals and so on, and just be happier, um, then please keep watching. Now today I wanted to talk to you about five things I do in my daily routine um, that have become like rituals for me really that have made a huge difference to my life um, and have made me feel happier. So number one getting up early. Now this is a really hard one to start off with. Um, I used to go to bed about half nine in the evening and I got up maybe about six o'clock um, at the earliest, later at weekends, um, and the thought of not getting my eight hours a night sleep um, was dreadful to be honest um, and I can't believe how far I've come so I now actually go to bed about 11 o'clock in the evening and I get up most days at five even at the weekends. Um, now, I didn't do this overnight and it was, certainly wasn't easy to start with, but if you think how many more hours a week I now have to be productive and achieve things, I'm no more tired. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm no more tired. And it didn't happen overnight. I didn't just suddenly wake up at five and bounce out of bed and feel full of energy. It takes commitment and time. But getting up early really makes such a difference to my day. I've already achieved so much before a lot of people have even got out of bed. So I'm not saying try and get up at five like me, but maybe try getting up just half an hour earlier and see what you can achieve. So that's made a huge difference. Number two, being healthy. Now, I'm sort of person who loves sugar. Um, until recently, um, I've always been enjoyed, you know, cakes and chocolate and sweets and bad things. Um, or bad things, they taste good, but they, they're not good for me. Um, I also have never historically been really into exercise. And what I discovered is that if you find an exercise you really enjoy, then it's no longer a chore and it's actually a lot of fun and it can be so good for you and you feel good. So for me, um, I've been getting up at five and I've been doing yoga. I do yoga with Adrienne, um, there's a YouTube channel, I really recommend her. Um, and then I do rebounding, which is basically bouncing on a mini trampoline. Apparently 10 to 15 minutes of using a rebounder is the equivalent to a 30 to 40 minute run. So really big bang for your buck there. Um, so they're two things that I enjoy, but find something that you enjoy um, and look after your body because you will have more energy. And if you've got more energy, then you are more patient. You um, are more able to achieve what you want to achieve. Um, you will have more fun and enjoyment. You'll have better relationships. Everything is about energy, guys. So look after your body. And I'm not saying never go for that piece of cake, okay? Maybe live by the 80-20 rule or the 90-10. You know, be healthy 80 or 90% of the time and then just allow yourself that treat 10 to 20% of the time. So that's it. Look after yourself and be healthy. Number three is keeping a journal. Now, I don't mean writing dear diary entries. What I mean is using a journal every day, and I usually do it in the morning, but some people it might suit later on in the day or just before bed, to write down certain things every day. So I write down my goals. What are my goals for the day, the week, the month, the year, my life? By writing down my goals regularly, it keeps them fresh in my mind, it reminds me what I'm working towards and I'm more likely to achieve them. I write down gratitude lists, so I write down things I'm grateful for from the very basics in life through to specific things that have happened. I write down what my ideal life will look like. I write things like a millionaire shopping list. Get creative, but write really positive things. Write lists, write descriptions, you know, d describe your ideal day when you've achieved your goal. Write down what you want life to be looking like and um, really be grateful. And I, sh I guarantee it just makes you feel happy. Um, it makes you feel good. It keeps you focused. Really recommend keeping a journal. And I can provide more tips on journaling if you need them. So let me know. Number four is being productive. Now, this maybe goes without saying that when you achieve things, you feel good, okay? But how many of us get lazy and um, don't actually achieve the things we want to achieve? So 
People are always telling me that they haven't got time, that I always seem to be having fun and achieving things and they don't know how I find the time. Well, I watch very little TV, so think about how much TV you might watch. I also don't waste time on things like ironing, um, I have someone do the cleaning for me. Think about how you can save time and it doesn't have to cost you money either. There's lots of ways that you can find more time, even if it's just getting up a bit earlier, like I said before. So. Think about how you can become more productive. How can you work towards your goals? What five things could you do every day that helps you to work towards a goal? So if it's that you want to maybe earn more money, what five things could you do to get more skills, to feel more confident, to prepare for that interview that you've got or that you're hoping to get? What five things could you do towards losing weight or towards finding your perfect partner? Whatever it is that you would like more of in your life, if you did five things every single day that were productive and worked towards that, imagine how good life would be when you achieve that. So being productive I think is really, really important and the more productive I am, the more I achieve and the happier I feel. Number five and the final tip. Now, something that I want to make sure I have in my life every day is fun. So even if it's only for half an hour every day, I make sure that I read for pleasure. So I do a lot of self-development reading, but I also read fiction for pleasure every single day. But I also try and arrange lots of fun. So every single weekend, every single month, I try to have different things in the diary, whether it's just meeting up with friends for a meal or going to a concert or getting away for a few days or going someplace new, going to a stately home. Every Everyone has different things you find fun. So I make sure that every day I have some fun times Time. Now it might just be reading, it might be going and doing something more elaborate, but you need to have some fun in your life. So take some time for you, even if it's just for a small part of your day, to have some fun. So you're balancing that sense of achieving something and having fun. And if you can achieve stuff and have fun and look after your body and keep happy and keep this journal, I recommend all of those things and I think that you will have a happier, more fulfilling life just like I have. Now, thank you so much for watching. I hope that that has given you some food for thought. If you liked this video, please go and like it. Please comment, please share it with your friends. If you think someone would enjoy it, tag them in the comments or send it to them. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, subscribe to all my social media channels. I'd be so, so grateful. Um, if you would like to direct message me and ask me for information um, about the other things I'm doing, then I'd love to hear from you. So please keep following, keep watching, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Take care and have a fantastic day and a great week.